Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to NASCAR 6 Fantasy Cup 2. Today, we are going to be heading out to Old Spice. Fantasy road course that usually I do really well at. Will today be different? Guess we'll have to find out. Let's do this. And there we sit atop the point standings, 37 points ahead of Tony Stewart. So Boris Sid's on the pole, which I do find funny that they would... Uh, adds a bit of oh, where am i going a bit of realism for him being like a road ringer he never does good anywhere else pretty much but uh but yeah all right oh whoa it up because they always they always stop kind of funny at that spot all right we're gonna do the little trick up here dive it in deep use the apron and Get back on the gas, gain a bunch of... Oh, okay. Sorry, Scott Lumber. <laughs> All right, so, here we go. <laughs> Already picked up 10 spots. Pretty much in that turn alone. Oh, okay. All right. I was trying to cut to the inside, but... Um, Jeff Green, of all people, he, he, he was coming down, so I tried to get back behind him, but then that was right at the moment that they all early braked, and uh, yeah. So we're going to have some front end damage. Ruffled a few feathers back there, but hey, it's fine because, oh, saved it. Whew. Ah. <sighs> Can say it's oh my god, I killed Terry Labonte. <laughs> oh no, um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god, that camera angle! Wow, well, my apologies. It didn't kill him, though, because he's still up ahead of me. Uh, I need to wait and see if they start pitting, because if so, then I probably should. Actually, you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm going to do it anyway. It's easy for me to pick up a bunch of spots with the uh, with that apron move. And any gain that we can get here, plus we can repair our damage, I think is a good thing. So, yeah. Alrighty. Got that pit stop done and got our repairs. We'll see if we gain much here. I mean, we're only a couple of laps into the race, but we'll gain a little bit on the fuel. Yeah, lap five. We'll gain some fuel and, and tire longevity. I, okay. I really am forgetting my braking points like a lot. <laughs> Careful here, because said they do funny things at this point. Oh, okay. Careful. All right. And apron. Nice. Okay. Huh, man. A little bit of a wild start, but hey, we're fine. <laughs> Okay, slightly better there. Yeah, I do enjoy this racetrack a lot. Uh, as I said, I've always done well here. It does help. I mean, at least I think so, in my opinion, that the AI aren't like amazing here. So you can usually dominate here if you have oh um, have a, a decent setup and everything. I actually don't have a, a custom setup in for this. I tweaked the default a little bit. Apparently, I didn't have one set up for this just because I usually don't need it. But um, yeah, the um, 
Oh, God. That little apron skip thing I do, though, you really gain a lot of time because they go super slow around that hairpin. And cutting through there, you can, it's usually really grippy unless you're on old tires. Uh, so you can get back to the gas way quicker and, and gain a bunch of time. Husty Wallace was out there in the uh, uh, out there in the grass. What I was trying to say. Okay, I'm not exactly pulling that off as good as I could, by the way, as far as getting back on the gas quicker and stuff. But we're in the top twenty. I do not mean to keep getting into the grass there, but you can get away with it while you have fresh tires. So I am getting away with it, but I'm not doing it on purpose. Also, I called that Rusty Wallace. What the freak? That is Kurt Busch. Holy moly, dude. Sometimes my brain can't remember what freaking decade it's, uh, <laughs> that I'm... Uh, well, virtually a part of, because this is, you know, I mean, it is 06, which is technically was an 05 made game, 2005, but still, it wasn't Rusty freaking Wallace. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I called Casey Kane, Bill Elliott, Scott Wimmer, Ward Burton, and now... Kurt Bush, I've called Rusty Wallace, so yeah. Just call me Mike Joy, I guess. I don't know. Oh, man, we both went wide there. Mm, did not quite clear Elliot. Yet. Mm, that was close. I took the turn properly that time, guys. <laughs> I am capable of it. All right, we are in the top 10 already. That just took uh, five or six laps there after the restart. Go from last to the top 10. Ooh, girl. I lost it there. Nice. All right. I feel like I'm, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm out of breath as if I'm really the one wheeling this race car around here, but it's like, it's hard to explain, but when you're like super fast, but also on the verge of being out of control, it takes a lot of mental effort you know i'm making all the little cor corrections i can on the control stick to keep things going i'm on and off the gas on the brakes there's a lot happening <laughs> okay that is us clear of mark martin into third boris said still leading this race ahead of jimmy johnson i kind of thought he would fade but they they really did give him the the souped up car for the for the road course, huh? It is ironic, it's the first time that I went through career mode for uh, for my YouTube series. The 36 car was what I ended up with. But unfortunately the game decided to break on me four or five times trying to do <laughs> trying to get through that career mode. Something that I was not able to do without bending a few few rules to make it possible, but we did eventually complete it, sort of, the best we could. Big cut in there. Oh, sent it big time, and I can't believe that worked. That's us into the lead. We led lap 13 after <laughs> restarting from the rear. Five laps into the race. Okay. Sorry, Boris. Oh, 
Wahaha. Okay, that was a crazy exchange, but we, we, we lived. We're fine. Now we need to run away, build up a nice big lead so that if something crazy happens during pit stops, it won't be too catastrophic for us. And uh, yeah, this episode might have some editing. It might end up being a little shorter just because there's going to be a ton of blank space. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough to talk about to fill me just leading <laughs> at Old Spice. All the excitement is when you're in traffic, and after that, uh, you just kind of run off. So, probably will invoke a bit of editing to make this a little bit more tolerable a watch for you guys. Trying to think, actually, do I have anything I want to talk about? I'm trying to avoid. I, every every so often, I've I've talked about something in an episode related to real life NASCAR, and then I get made fun of because it's <laughs> way out of date. So I'm trying not to do that uh, for what it's worth. But um, yeah, honestly, as someone who doesn't even watch that much anymore, rather. It's because it's not on a channel that I get or because I just don't really care. <laughs> um, I don't really have too much to say about it in general these days, but yeah. I will say that I feel like in at, at least two episodes, I talked about my NASCAR 07 series and how I said I'd like to finish it someday. Every time I hear myself talk about it, I feel like I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm like, do I really want to? Will I ever really do it? I mean, the thing about it is I could switch over to doing it on streams and I could knock a bunch of races out in the stream and make a lot of progress and it'd probably go by a lot faster. But there's two main things that makes me hold back from it and, and one is obviously as i said before i'd have to re-upload all of the other episodes and what what day would i do it and if i only do it once a week it would take 72 weeks just to get caught up <laughs> i mean a freaking year and a half so uh <laughs> that seems extreme um but i don't want to flood the channel with it because honestly i don't think it's worth it I don't know. If this series was done, or Heat 5 was done, or closer to being done anyway, I might say, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll replace one of them with it. And maybe that's what I'll do, but I mean, we're still like 28 races and therefore weeks away from completing this. And Heat 5 career is a long ways off from being completed. Um, I'm like 40 episodes ahead on recording it, as far as, you know, using the streams. And, you know, not even done with it. So it's a long ways off from finishing. Um, so yeah, I just don't know where I would put NASCAR 07. And I don't want to, like upload it multiple times a week then it's it's just too much of it you know it's not even that good of a game and i don't even know if the views would be that good oh i blew that corner we're fine <laughs> um but yeah i don't i don't know i i don't know maybe maybe when this project is done uh, I'll, I'll replace it with that and it can just be a super long running freaking thing. I don't know. <laughs> As I re upload those and then eventually finish it. But I guess another thing I could do halfway on gas. What? 15 laps? Not even? So we haven't completed the lap? Uh, that's kind of crazy. That means. 
we're only going to go to like, let's say lap 35. Have to pit again. Or have to pit. Ah. Uh, and then go another, say, 30 laps at best. That's only 65. It, we're going to have to pit two times. So I did myself like no favors pitting early then. Oh well. The only way that I could have worked it would have been to have pitted at like. Trying to think. Lap 18 or something. Would that have. I don't even know if that would have done it. I don't know. That might have made it work out a little better, but like. Still. Yeah. Oh well. We build up as big a lead as we can. We're going to be getting into lap traffic pretty soon. Uh, we build up the lead, and then we're going to have to survive two pit stops, possibly both under green. You never know, though. Once I get into lap traffic, I might end up causing a wreck or something. But sometimes they'll just wreck each other, too, so there's always that. We'll see how it plays out, I guess. But anyway, just to wrap up what I was saying... Um, Another thing I could do, I suppose, would just be to finish it as, as you know, streams and then just put them up and have a link to the unlisted videos on the old channel, the old racing channel, if people want to go back and catch up or something. I don't know. It just kind of feels pointless, though, you know, at that, at that rate. It's either finish it for the people who watched it originally who may or may not have migrated back over I don't even know or um, restart all the uploads here but I don't know. Uh, okay I'm getting sloppier with these turns the tires already feel like they're wearing even though the light hasn't come on you can usually tell there's actual tire wear before the light comes on. You'll notice that it starts to get a little harder to handle. And then they'll be like, oh, this tire is worn. It's like, I think it already had, but yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do for sure, but I feel like it's something that I keep bringing up <laughs> and I don't. I never really know exactly what I'm going to do about it, but I would like to someday at least be able to check it off my list by saying, yeah, I finished that and I never have to think about it again because <laughs> it's like on some level, I almost feel guilty, even though it's not a good game. I, I feel guilty about not finishing the project. There's a lot of projects I haven't finished and I've tried to recently go back and finish some stuff and I actually have. Um, but I don't know. I know I don't really need to feel guilty about it and I know nobody really expects me to do it. And if I never do it, I don't think anybody will really care. <laughs> but some part of me does care. So there's that. But you know, you, you know, I'm sure there's people that would make a case for being like, well, you never finished Thunder 03. You never finished Dirt to Daytona. You never finished um, your request series. I mean, I don't know how you finish a request series, but you stop doing a request series with a bunch of requests waiting. I did think about revisiting that too. But the problem with it is um, that was the, the way I did it was just overwhelming and, and kind of poorly done. I didn't expect as many requests as I got, and I also didn't expect so many of them to be not good video games. I shouldn't have. So what I did was I was like, here's all of the games you can choose from for me to do a race in. And I just shouldn't have included some of the ones that I did, I guess. But even still, like the idea, it, it was a cool idea and people were excited about it. 
but it was just so overwhelming. I thought, okay, I'll get a couple of requests, you know, a week or something. And then I got like 40 in the first week and I was just like, oh God. And I filled like six of them and I was like, nah, I, I'm gonna take a break from this. And then I just never went back. And, and I know some people are disappointed by that and I was disappointed in myself, but what do you, what are you gonna do? <laughs> What are you gonna do? Some projects just... Wow, orange fuel light before we even get yellow tire light. That's crazy. Uh, some projects are just... better as ideas than they are reality. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I thought about revisiting it in a simpler way, limiting it to cert games or whatever but like how many how many people would want to see something like that and again where does it fit in the schedule then because like i said before i don't really even have room for anything else so yeah it's just not something i'm gonna worry too much about oh scrub that inside wall there it's not good a little damage So, I said at best I'd make it to lap 35. I don't even think that's likely. If the orange fuel light's already on, I'm, I think I'm. Oh, I don't think I'm getting very good fuel mileage. I think I'm driving way too hard, <laughs> and I really could have backed off. I have an 18-second lead. People are starting to pit now. Um, but yeah, I I think my my goal at this point. Is, oh, Jason left me. Um, <laughs> my goal at this point is to just go as hard as I can and get as many people a lap down as possible and, and all that so that if my pit strategy gets fricked over that I can at least rely on having a huge freaking lead if it all goes sideways, so, yeah, we'll see. Remember when I said I was going to edit things out because I didn't have anything to say for this long? And yet, here I am, still talking and probably not editing any of that out. Where are you going, Jeff Green? Minister Society. Jeff Green is still hassling me in NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. He's in the Xfinity. He's been my rival for almost the whole time. He constantly gives me grief. It's so annoying. Well, I say still is. I'm by it. In real time, as far as up-to-date stuff, I've, I've been done with Xfinity. I'm in Cup now. But for as far as you guys have seen here on YouTube, I'm still in Xfinity. And Jeff Green continues to be a problem. <laughs> so, yeah. We might make it to lap 35. Kyle, what are you doing? You guys keep going out so wide there. I might make it to lap 35. Okay, tires are starting to wear now. Because um, we still haven't got to the red fuel light yet. But, I mean, I feel like I want to pit. I don't want to pit too soon, but I kind of want to pit sooner than later. problem is is then we have to pit again after that you know and the closer I can get to making it on 30 or making it 30 laps the better because then I can uh, only have to go like 20 something in the last stint if I pit too soon then that's going to be closer I don't know Lap 33 now. Maybe I'll go next time by. Oh my good lord, Mike Bliss decided to last second there to hit pit road. Doesn't seem like Mike Bliss is running as well this race as he has been lately. I hope that doesn't take him out of the top 10 in points, but it probably will because those guys were all so close in points, if I recall.
Red fuel light is now, yeah, all right. So I'm not gonna go to 35, I'll put on 34. It's unfortunate, but I think it's probably for the best. I'm a little scared of speeding on pit road, because if I recall, you don't automatically, all right, I'm just gonna have to let you go, man. I can't, can't do that. Um, I have to remember where the line is here. It's like up here, but or not where the frick is it gosh I lost so much time there crazy give me a full tank please <laughs> uh yeah that, that was kind of a bummer entry but whatever <laughs> okay pit stop done we are still in the lead The time thing is going to be fricked up until everybody cycles, I think, properly. Ended up back with these same guys again. Okay, we ended up with 18 second lead, which is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Alright, we'll keep an eye on... Uh, this thing always gets stuck. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on when we get halfway again. We should hopefully be able to go to about 64. Which would mean we only need... Wait. Right. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I did my math wrong earlier. We, that would mean we would only need to go 19 laps to the end of the race. So, oh god, that was close. So our goal then will be to look for around lap 64. If we have to pit a couple laps before that, that'll still be fine. So yeah, I don't know. I was I was mathing wrong there. That was my bad. All right. Well, I'm gonna relap a bunch of these guys if I can. Or well, actually, these were the guys I was just starting to lap. So I really didn't lose any time at all. That's good. Even with that bad pit entry, that's, that's nice. But I'm gonna lap a bunch of these guys and my. I'm ahead by 635 seconds, apparently. What? <laughs> okay. Timing, a little weird. Okay, back to 20 now. <laughs> anyway, so this is probably the point where I... Oh, boy. This is probably the point where I will cut ahead then, so... Yeah. Unless something crazy happens, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, my... Shane, I mean, that was my fault, but, like, I was setting up to be to his inside as we came back around there, and he just cut over, and, I mean, yes, I didn't have to be that aggressive. Do I pit again? No. No, I don't pit again. I didn't have to be that aggressive, but like, man, well, Mike Bliss, <laughs> another quick caution would be great for Mike Bliss, wouldn't it? Jamie McMurray really, really didn't give me, uh, give me an inch there, did he? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I got real squirrely down there. Uh, anyway, I'm so like, you know, I'm sure you watching are probably like, no, that was all your fault. It was, but the AI have this really dumb need, even if they're like on good terms with you, to just block you. You see, they say that voice line, if he wasn't so friendly, he'd be blocking, but they do block. And they'll just like cut you off, man. They'll run you right to the line. And if you're aggressively going for something, you're gonna end up freaking killing them because, yeah. I'm real tempted to uh, try not to lap Mike Bliss for his own good. But like at the same time, how the frick can I do that? I need to run off from these guys and rebuild my lead so that if something goes wrong on the green flag pit stops, 
you know, I have that cushion. Why can't somebody all have a caution? I, I about was the caution there. Uh, cause the caution back there behind me and make this a little easier. I'm actually tempted to send McMurray around. He's been hassling me this whole race, and by that I mean like the one time I saw him. Okay, that was not intentional. This is for the lead. What? Hi, 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 hi. Jimmy Johnson taking the lead for me while I struggled to try to clear Jamie McMurray and failed. All right, seven time. You weren't at this point, but eventually you'll be seven time. Man, he has not had a good return to NASCAR, has he? Jeez, sir. I'd like to think things will get better for him at some of his better tracks, but just feel like this whole thing was not what he thought it was going to be. <laughs> also, I did not let him lead a lap there. I got that lead back. Uh, I don't know. Actually, he might have led earlier, though. I don't remember. No, Boris said I think led every lap until I took the lead, so yeah. Yeah, quick caution from the guys back there would be great if, uh, if we could not lap Mike Bliss here for his own sake. He could get back in the mix and maybe gain some spots. <sighs> anyway, probably cut ahead again. <laughs> I'm going to try not to kill Mike Bliss, but I can't stay behind him too much longer, realistically. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. I got so squirrely trying to do my little apron thing there that I freaking almost died. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> Welcome back. You got freaking killed me too, dude. While we both blew that corner. Mike Bliss is catching a break here just because I'm being garbage all of a sudden. Also, the thing's stuck on my screen. That's fun. Anyway. <laughs> Back to what I was trying to do, which is pull away from people if I can manage to do it. Oh, McMurray just ran Stewart off the track. Did you see that back there? Probably didn't, but still, it happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we led the most laps. Shocker. All right, so yeah, people are already pitting, so I guess that makes sense. They could probably make it from here. I might even be able to make it from here technically, but I'm definitely going to wait a little while. All right, so this is probably the lap that I will hit pit road, I guess. You know, the fact that we are just... I mean, we still haven't fully caught Mike Bliss. I mean, I've made a couple of mistakes, but like... He's honestly really fast. If he was back on the lead lap, he probably would have gained a bunch of spots. I kind of feel bad that he is not uh, able to do that. Oh, God. Hang on to it. And it's still too early, <laughs> but whatever. All right. We actually are going to lose the lead. I think Jimmy Johnson's officially going to lead a lap now because it looked like he was in second again, so... We did not prevent him from getting bonus points. My car is more beat up than I thought it was. Maybe I should have gotten some repairs. Oh, never mind. I'm glad I didn't. It would have been even longer. Freaking pit crew. Almost 20 seconds. Yeah, boy. All right. Well, until everybody else cycles through, we, we definitely lost a bunch of spots here. Here's Mike Bliss, but not Jimmy, so we're not a lap down. That's good. We came out basically where we were, just about to close in on Mike Bliss again. Even with that long pit stop, so that's something, I guess. So 
So that means Mike Bliss is running 18th, I guess. Not sure what that'll be when everything cycles through, but that's not bad. That's not bad. Not as good as he's been doing, but it's not bad. I do wish that my plan to wreck Jamie McMurray had worked, though, because then Bliss would have been back on the lead lap, and he could have uh, been racing his way through the field, maybe. Because, like I said, he, he is quick. Like, it took me a long freaking time to actually run him back down, so... We're going to get by him now. Hopefully he'll salvage a decent day, though. We might... No, we're not going to retake the lead, because Kyle Busch stayed out in the lead a while. Oh, 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 golly. You got to get reused to having fresh tires, because it changes how the car feels so much. Such a drastic difference. <laughs> Sometimes you get used to entering a certain way, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, a ton of grip. That's that's the thing. All right, so yeah, they are heading down pit road now. Did they all pit, or did Jeremy stay out? I think Jeremy stayed out. Jeremy Mayfield going to get him some bonus points. But he will eventually cycle back to the lead. I think we didn't have a huge lead when we pitted, but considering that we came out where we were, basically, I feel like that should mean that we will uh, we will cycle back to the lead. So. Mm -hmm, okay. should get that lead back right about now. Thank you, Jeremy. Mike Bliss still hasn't pitted. That puts him in second as we run. I should have let him lead a lap, get some bonus points. I feel kind of bad. Hold on. I'm going to be super duper generous. Come on, Bliss. There you go. Watching Pitt this time by, and I just threw away five seconds for nothing. Mike Bliss, if you pit, God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. I should have thought of that a lap sooner. Oh, well. Oh, well, I tried. Too late, but I tried. Well, I hope he still ends up with a decent finish, though. I'll be honest. He's probably not going to. Hmm. I thought he was going to end up about mid-pack, but I'm not entirely sure that's likely now. Oh, well. What can you do? I tried. I gave up what would have been like a 10-second lead. Still a good lead, though, and I should easily build it back up again, so... Yeah. I don't think Bliss is going to get off pit road before I lap him either. Might. He's trying. He did. Wow. It's a back out in front of me again. Gosh dang it, Mike Bliss. It's always you and me. Alright, well, anyway. I'll see you in a little bit, I guess. Unless something exciting happens, but we'll see. Oh my god. That was so close. I feel like there was a delayed reaction there for me. <laughs> because I legitimately was so zoned out. Like... 
if a person can race in this game while being like asleep with their eyes open that was about the equivalent of what was happening there and oh jeez -er. um and I I, f I knew the car was wrecking it and I did manage to save it but it's like my brain took a while to realize what was even happening there that was close <laughs> It was very, very close. Wait, it is Rusty Wallace. Remember that whole thing earlier on where I was like, oh my gosh, it's Kurt Busch. I called it Rusty Wallace. Jeez. Oh, I should just never speak again. <laughs> is that... It is Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle, who is usually... Doing really well. Judging by this, he's like low. I was gonna say mid pack, but maybe even a little lower than that. So, not a good day for the Biff. He's doing good in the points too. That's gonna set him back. Oh jeezer! I gotta stop being so risky with that move this late in the race. Honestly, it's not even worth it. I have a 14 second lead for crying out loud. <laughs> All right, coming to the white flag here at Old Spice, brought to you by McDonald's. Oh boy. Yeah, we've had some uh, some close calls, some, some skirmishes. Some mental lapses, all kinds of stuff going on, but uh, despite all of that, we have a huge lead. And we are going to win this race, so that's pretty cool, all things considered. I'll be interested to see how the running order shakes out, though, because I know there's some people that I've put two laps down, so I'll be interested to see what Mike Bliss managed to get. And there you have it, another W. Aw, yeah. Let's look at our race results. We led a race high 67 laps. I'm smashing into people in the background there. And uh, started last, finished first, obviously. Jimmy Johnson started third, finished second, leading two laps. Kyle Busch uh, started fourth, ended up third, leading one lap. Mark Martin slipped from second to fourth. A lot of the guys who started up front stayed up here. Look at this. Tony Stewart, seventh to fifth. Earl Edwards, 11th to sixth. Dale Jr., sixth to seventh. Boris said led 12 laps from the pole, but ended up eighth. Still a good day for him. Matt Kenseth, 16th and ninth. And uh, Kurt Busch, well... Yes, Kurt Busch, because Kyle was up front at one point. Uh, Kurt Busch, 19th to 10th. One of the bigger movers aside from us. <laughs> it's in the top 10. But yeah, not a lot of movement until you start getting down into this area. You got Jeff Gordon, who made some ground up in this race. Jeremy Mayfield finishes 17th on the lead lap. Uh, leading a lap, so that's good. Ryan Newman ends up the last car on the lead lap. And uh, now we scroll down to see where did our buddy Mike Bliss ended up 28. So not great. If we could have got him that caution, I'll bet he would have done a lot better. Because he definitely had a fast car. He just got trapped a lap down there. But anyway. And a bunch of these guys that we kept having issues with over and over again. And it looks like Michael Waltrip went out with, what, seven to go. Scott Riggs went out after only 29 laps and Kevin Harvick went out after only 22 that is big he started eighth but he went out first that's a big blow to Kevin Harvick but uh yeah all right we celebrate we padded our points lead oh yeah and after that we have a 72 point lead over Tony Stewart so we doubled our points lead over him 
and a 172 point lead over Greg Biffle because some of these guys just had mediocre days. Like Jimmy was okay, and I think he gained some spots here in the standings, but Greg Biffle, we saw him. I mean, we put him a lap down. So, yeah, not a great day for him. Uh, Jeff Gordon was just mediocre as well in that finish. So, yeah, we gained a ton of points on some of these guys. Ryan Newman is 10th in the points, and uh, we know he finished like. 18th or whatever it was so yeah mike bliss fell to 12 so he's no longer in the top 10 in points hopefully he can get that back i'd really like to see him win a race in this season it'd be cool to see that since he's been doing so well kevin harvick uh i'm assuming fall spots just because we know he finished dead last to 13th so that actually benefited some of these guys probably elliot sadler the most probably gained from that but, uh, yeah, we'll scroll on down through the rest of the field. Oh, look, it's Kurt Busch. Freaking John, you idiot. Uh, Kyle Busch, yeah, not doing so hot. Here's a couple guys back here that I would have expected to do better. Matt Kenseth is having an abysmal season. So, yeah. Boris said, I mean, that was his best finish of ever. So he definitely leapfrogged some of these guys. That he's been racing around the whole season. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We got 48 people who have started a race. All righty. Well, that is going to do it for today. I was actually going to try to do more in this session, like I said, but that race was so freaking long. My recording is an hour and 10 minutes long. The episode won't be, <laughs> but it's probably not even going to be short. I said it might be short with editing, but I did a lot of talking that first part. But either way, a lot of that's getting edited out. And it's still probably going to be long. And yeah, I don't have time to do more in this session. So yeah, there's that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hammer that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time for more. Bye.